We got London on the track. On the track. On the track. Yo, what's going on guys? Diamond here. We're back with a new video. Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a, uh, a f my first installment of the map playtesting series for TF2. We're going to be doing CP Cargo. Uh, this is CP Cargo in its A5 edition. This map is made by Choji, who's also the creator of Snakewater. Uh, super great dude, you know, he's made that map. That's been around for like seven years and everyone's loved that map and uh... We're looking forward to uh, exploring his new map, CP Cargo, that uh, I will link a uh, form that you can find down below, that you can just like look at his intentions of the map, and if I remember correctly, which I don't, yeah, he says that he wants this, that this the design of this map has been governed by three design intentions to work well in a competitive setting, distinct areas with varying gameplay possibilities, dynamic connectors between areas which reward offensive play, and fun progressive roles for all classes. Now this, I I, I think this pointer uh, is not really something you see in a lot of maps. You know, like, there's no connections in Gully Wash, and there's no, uh, uh, you know, there's no connectors and maybe, I guess, the window area in Snakewater, but, like, there isn't really a lot of things to do. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, doing the demo review of this playtest. And, uh, yeah, we're joining with my, with my little doggo here, Onyx. I think he wants to leave my lap, though. You want to leave, Onyx? Alright, uh, you can leave. Alright, you're up. Jump. There you go. Good job. So, yeah, we're going to re re review this map. And, uh, yeah, it looks good. So I just want to start off by saying that uh, a lot of people didn't really know what they were doing. It was like our very first uh, playtest of the map. You know, we, we did get some time to explore it, but some of us weren't familiar with the ro rollouts. And, uh, yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll get right into it here. Let's see if we can resume the demo. And we're live, hopefully. There we go. Uh, blue teams rolling out here. All right, consoles on demo. Here, let's go to the mid fight here. So, I like the design of this mid fight. Um, it's got a lot of you know unique ways you can approach. You can approach from the balcony. You can approach from pretty much anywhere. You can approach from the balcony. You can approach from the main doors. Everyone did. Some people can decide to wrap around the crates. So yeah, uh, pretty scattered mid fight we got going on here though. No one knows what they're doing. Uh, I think we end up losing this one on my team, and uh, yeah, this this uh this play test was uh, made possible by the support of Solid Pugs. They have a map group, they have a pug group called New Map Pugs that uh, does all that kind of business. And uh, yeah, uh, you guys should check those guys out. I'll drop a link in the description. They're known to they're pretty goofy sometimes, and uh, they're known for their goofy reputation, but uh, the fact that they are, they are, you know, letting playtesting happen on new maps is pretty awesome. So, here we go, we're holding, uh, red team's holding second here. And blue team is getting their stuff back together, sticking together. Uh, brown sugar's trying to work his way behind us. Let's see we'll pick up here. I don't think he'll pick up anybody. Oh, he is going to end up killing me here. Ooh, he missed a lot. Yeah, and then I go down, so... Yeah, so far this looks uh, pretty interesting. want to go over some pointers I found a little uh, disturbing. Uh, there's a sight line right here. Let me see if I can angle this. The sight line right here lets you pretty much see like a lot this entire thing. And I think you can sight the forwards if you're lucky. And that's a, that's a little weird too. We'll go over uh, other things we find. But it uh, looks like blue team here is been some players. This is going to manage to cap second overall. And uh, yeah, so super cool map by the way. A uh, lot of you know, a lot of connectors to uh, approach the fight from. You know, you can go through here, you can go through this uh, right right area, and the left area's got a lot of opportunities too. You know, you can walk over this ramp, have sort of jump from under here. Maybe you can like do a far left like flank. So really cool. A lot of entrances, not too many, but uh, yeah, look, look really, I like it a lot. And um, yeah, so blue team's gonna end up I think pushing here. Ubers are roughly even, and uh, we get, I'm holding left here, the rest of my combo's holding right. We do decide to run crits on this pug, uh, I don't know, Jadov's being a little goofy or a red medic, but uh, yeah, we had a printing crits. They go down five people, yeah, so, <laughs> you know, I think Bubsy got a 5k there, I forgot to showcase that, but uh, yeah, you know, players aren't used to the map yet, so stupid stuff will happen. 
Uh, but yeah, so far we managed to cap. We're pushing back out here. And uh, I forgot, but I remember seeing a really weird uh, spam angle. I think I end up using it. It's a really weird spam angle. I'll show you guys later on. We use crits here. Demo goes down. We keep going forward. And uh, yeah, so... Bunch of bunch of stuff happening here. Medic's caught out. He goes down. Scout gets piped. So right now we're fighting it out. Uh, but yeah, map's really smooth. A uh, lot of the uh, what's happening right now is our team's going the same direction. Like we don't really have a flank, but um, th there's nothing really game breaking that we've noticed. Not not really many hiding spots. And uh, yeah, we're pushing into last here. You know this video. Uh, I'm just doing this video, so maybe like the developer I know Choji I'm gonna send this send this video to the thread maybe Choji can just look at the gameplay and see what he likes see what he doesn't like and uh, yeah we'll go from there I think there could be a bit more additions to the mid I honestly don't know what maybe like some place for more high ground but I personally like it so you know let's see what happens here I think I managed to snipe the demo again yep he goes down <laughs> alright they decide to take far right this time which is kinda cool they got scout doing that deep flank again so yeah, there's a lot of like approaches to this mid fight, which is kind of good, you know. Um, some mid fights are usually just you go right, you go left. So uh, I, I like that there's so many entrances that you can do. Uh, yeah, I think we end up winning this, even though our medic goes down. And uh, yeah, uh, it's a cool as hell day here uh, on a Canadian summer. I'm from Canada. Hope you guys are enjoying the Olympics. The Olympics just started. I'm rooting for Canada and and Serbia, as some of you guys know. I am Serbian. And uh yeah, just just looking for the Olympics. It's been a pretty good day for pretty good uh day one for Canada so far, as far as I know. And uh I guess Serbia as well. You know, the Serbian women are doing some uh awesome results. Okay, so Blue is holding last here. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Uh it looks like we done it we did a sack. I'm not sure what happened there, but uh cool thing about this last point, uh <laughs> Oh, well, there's some cool things about this last point. I think what uh, when we were playing this pug, we all were kind of freaked out on is the sniper sight lines. You can run like a double sniper on this last. You know, we talked about this sight line. And it was really weird that you can see uh, the forward spawn from. And if you sit right here, like somewhere to your left, you can pretty much shoot all the way into here, right? And that's uh, that's a little concerning for some people. And I think that's easily fixable. You know, just move the walls a little bit and yeah so I think Red's got full uber here they're gonna try to push in uh, they don't like giving the crits to me I'm the demo in the pug by the way so they're gonna take it on the pocket and uh, I think this is gonna get beefed yeah half our team didn't go in <laughs> I don't know it's a pug anything could happen but uh looks like Blue's gonna end up retaking their second point and uh, we're gonna be rolling right into mid here uh, great Great, uh, what I like a lot about this lobby area when you push in the last, and th th and it's so awesome, like, I think I managed to drop, like, a pocket, like, two times here, but this great, uh, lets explosives go through it, like the great that you know on, uh, CP Steel, and it's been so cool when you, uh, manage to <laughs> drop a pocket with your sticky trap under, or, not even a sticky trap, you can just keep a roamer under, and he'll, like, shoot out whoever he needs to, and, uh, they don't know what's gonna hit him, so that's kinda cool, too, uh, so far in the playtest, we didn't really get to use this uh, uh, lower area. I'm not really sure what it pur its purpose is, but uh, I don't think it's bad whatsoever. And uh, yeah, okay, we managed to push here. We start pounding, and I think we're going to get this round. Yep. All right. All right, Pomeranian lives, but we still end up clutching it out, so it's 2-0 for red team right here. Uh, turns out to be a close pug later on. I think uh, now the rollout started getting a lot better, so we're let's see. I think I started doing a proper rollout. Yeah, I ended up going left side. Uh, I put a stick, took my pack here to put a stick, and then I came out to the right. So start left, go to the right. I got there faster than the other demo. Oh, actually, no, we got there about the same time. And uh, yeah, so turns out I go down here, I think. Turns out that Lou's getting good control here. Two of our soldiers are on red crate. One of them goes deep. And uh, 
It, it, like, again, it's another pug scrap fest that isn't really going anywhere. Uh, another thing about the map that I just remember in terms of the feedback is uh, some points look really deceiving on, like, what can you stand on, what can, can't can you stand on. If I remember correctly, you can really uh, stand on, like, uh, some points, some spots that looked really, like, standable, like these lamps, I think, and uh, not really too sure. There's, there, there's some spots that, like, people found very uh, deceiving. And it threw a lot of people off, but uh, eh, it's not. It's fine. I think it'll, once it goes into the beta phase and like the textures come in, it'll get more, you know, uh, uh, normal. I decided to peek here. Let's see where Flank's doing. So yeah, a lot of good Flank rounds here. Like I mentioned earlier, I think it's really fun that you can get in through so many ways. Kind of like Reckoner. Uh, I, I find that awesome. Like you get completely behind the team here. Uh, both these uh, scouts are going down. We start capping the point. And, uh, yeah, we push him out, I think. Is that what ends up happening? Yeah, that's what ends up happening. I think our scout is way too deep here. Uh, gets away with the med pick. Very surprising. And, uh, we're about here to push. I think this is another beefed Uber. No, this isn't beefed. This can't be beefed. Yeah. Crits into last. We get it done. So, pretty cool. I'm gonna be watching the blue demo. See his rollout. Actually, let's see the roamer's rollouts. Let's see who's roamer on their team. As it, it's not Android, it's, it's not Pomeranian. It's QuickTime. So I'm curious as how he rolls out. Alright, he's going to end up taking the flank route here. Beast's jump. Okay, I think he's going to go from the high ground here. And I think he's going to go huge. Let's see. He sees me. He goes in. So yeah, like, I think Romer also has, like, I don't know, the great thing about this made is demo and Romer and and scouts have so many options and I think Choji did a really great job of that so far just for even like the alpha uh, you know phase of this map but you pretty much can go anywhere as any class here it's not really like restricted to somebody uh, it, and that's really cool I, I like that a lot so uh, let's see what ends up happening here looks like our combo is going right we're gonna let the scout cap right I think that's what I thought and then I'm going in here and we go in with crits. I think our medic goes down. Yep. And we beef this push. <laughs> Always using crits, but uh, yeah. So far, it's just uh, looks pretty looks pretty bad for red team. You know, we have one guy capping and we're pushing in. Uh, we did have full ad, but that that gets fucked up real badly. And uh, yeah. So normally, I've I've heard you know some professional players. In TF2, talk about how like a two-floor kind of system is really bad, but it's kind of useful maybe when you're in like that like second to last kind of situation. You can always have like a two-floor uh, lobby, and I think this lobby is really well done. Uh, I honestly like there's so many uh, options, and just throughout the map, there's a lot of options. I'm gonna sound like a broken record about that, but it looks like we got a spy coming up here, kill the blue med. It is going to fail. <laughs> Didn't even see that off class in the game. And, uh, yeah, our another red soldier is going to bleed. We, I think we try to rescue him. Not really sure what's happening here. By the way, my camera is terrible. I suck at... I've never really, like, semi-casted before. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I wonder when that spooky spam angle comes in. I, I used a really weird spam angle that I didn't think should be usable. I think it's because there was a hole somewhere. Like a little gap that you can shoot from. Uh, I'm not sure, but let's get back to the action here. Yeah, it was something. It was something. Let's see what's going on here. We got three players in lobby. Not really doing anything. They got an off class on last. And, uh, yeah, a lot of funky sentry spots that I think haven't been used yet. But, uh, yeah, a lot of funky sentry spots that you can put in. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this isn't, uh, spammable through, but, uh, that's fine. Uh, it's just, I guess, I think it's for the better. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff. Looks like Bubsy ends up killing her, the demo, and uh, I think it's just gonna be another stalemate again. Let's find out what we got going on here. <laughs> Looks like the heavy's destroying us. I'm trying to put some spam out. I think I'm gonna end up dying here. No, I'm not. All right, and uh, I'm surprised not to see a sniper on their side because, like I said, the sightlines are absolutely ridiculous. You could stand in this spawn. And you could just shoot all the way. Like, that is crazy. Um, I don't know if that was really intended. Looks like the heavy ends up getting dropped here. They're three down. They got a spawner. 
we're still committed into this. Uh, I think it's going to fail for us. Yeah, I'm going to end up going down here. So is my medic. And uh, yeah, looks like this is going to be a successful fight for blue team. And yeah, so uh, let's see, a lot of cool... Uh, I don't know what this is going to be used for yet. I think it's just a, like a little ledge for uh, some sort of plays. I, I'm curious as to what this will what will happen with this area. I think you, there could be a bit more obstacles here. And uh, yeah. But so far this looks pretty awesome. Looks like we are backing out of here. Blue team is going to push up. Oh, we got... This guy just got sniped by our medic. Poor guy. Quick time. And, uh, yep, so, I think Blue still manages to cap, yeah, wait, Blue already capped this. Um, let's see what we're doing here. We recap it by some weird turn of events, our med is leading, that's fine. And, uh, I don't know why we're pushing in here. <laughs> don't really know what happened, our med goes down first. As that's been happening with the most pug. And, uh, yeah, it looks like they're going to push out of here once again. Um... Curious, maybe if this hook could be lowered for later versions, you can keep like, maybe not this hook, but this hook looks pretty cool. If this hook was lowered, um, you can you know maybe had a roamer up in there. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I mean it'd be pretty detectable, but it could work sometimes. And uh, yeah, I think this ledge is standable on, so this is a really cool uh, spot. Nice shot by uh, Startard. Uh, nice name as well. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see, Jada goes down. They're gonna have a nice 50 ad. They are running a spy. I'm gonna put my eyes on Brown Sugar. See what he's doing. He is gonna be using this house. This is a nice place to cloak and dagger. Let's see what he's got here. He is disguised as a scout. Let's see. We're awaiting his play. I think he's waiting for the medic to peep. Oh, and he does get spy checked right here. My goodness. Gets us up. Uh, does he get a saw? I wasn't paying attention, but he ends up going down to the medic. I end up killing Android here. I think that's their pocket. Bubsy ends up going down. Just a scrap fest of extreme proportions. Our engineer is pushing out of last here. What is going on here? What is he doing? Oh, that not like this. That hurt to watch. All right. So uh, yeah, holding the second. Uh, pretty much only three places to push from, if I'm correct. One, two, and I guess three. Uh, high ground is greatly favored. I think this was kind of copied out of the Badlands book where this is like your pretend spire and you got your drop down right here and your bats. So definitely pushing out of this last is a little tough. Uh, but I think the cap time has balanced out that pretty well. You know, making it a lot easier to push out. I think I end up picking up Android here. And uh, there's a scrap going on in the bridge area. Pomeranian is going huge. Pomeranian, a young man, I think picks up 47 frags this pug. Which is absolutely crazy. A young scout man. Never heard of. Is pretty good though. And he ends up going down. And uh, we're looking to push second here with two down. I am getting tanked here. Let's see what I can do. All eyes on diamond, right? Let's see. Yeah, I'm keeping the spam here. Do miss my shots. Oh, I go down in style. Oh well, at least I went down in style, hit both my pipes. We've got an engineer going up again, so... Yeah, maybe... Maybe you can open up... Um, something right here. I don't really know, I don't see the use of this area. Not that it's like, you know, bad or anything, but... Maybe there could be something can be done with this house. To give this a bit more use. And uh, yeah, it looks like that is going to be the demo. I did talk a lot, but uh... Right now, the only that was pretty much the play test. Uh, only problems I guess uh, we had in the pug were the sight lines, and how close some how close you can close distances. If that makes sense, I didn't maybe word that correctly. And just uh, yeah, uh, I found it very well. Lots of flank crowds. I think uh, this could be a great map. I'm looking forward to seeing the beta. I hope the developer finds my spectating useful, and he can. Uh, Use it to maybe increase the uh, the enjoyment of the of this map, but uh, so far it looks great. I want to thank uh, Choji for a great map. 
I look forward to beta, as I said, like three times already. And uh, yeah, thank you for guys watching. If you want to uh, be a part of this channel, best way you can do is to subscribe. You can also you can also join my Steam group where I give updates. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing another map playtest in the future. I uh, plan on releasing a RuneScape video pretty soon. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Catch you later.